Hello, I'm here with musician Kristen Rebecca. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So what kind of instruments and music do you play? Well, I play mainly modern folk music, which is my own, and then I play Celtic music with a band. And I sing, but besides singing, I play the Celtic harp, also known as the lever harp, and the guitar. How young were you when you first got involved in the arts, and what did you do? Um, I was two when I first wanted to get involved in the arts, and I started out with dancing. I was a little ballerina up on stage. What are you like off stage? Are you shy, or when you get on that stage, like, boom, you're a different person? I would say I'm more outgoing on stage than I am in person. I'm not a heavy introvert, but I'm a little more shy and quiet. You went to HCC. Who did you study with, and how did they influence you? Um, I first studied with a teacher named Judy Cavendish when I started HCC when I was about 15. I started voice lessons there. And then I transitioned to being a voice major. And I still stayed with her for a few years, but then I decided to move on to Deborah Kent. What is it about that gravitated you towards singing? Um, actually, it was my dad's idea to become a voice major. I initially thought about being a guitar major, but my dad said that people remember a voice very well and I thought well yeah and then so I decided to really train that but the cat came back she wouldn't stay away she was sitting on the stoop the very next day the cat came back she didn't want to roam the very next day she was home sweet home How did you become involved with the Maryland Renaissance Festival? That was my mom's idea. We, we played a band together called Painted Trillium, and uh, we were looking for venues to play, and I've been going there since I was a little kid. And my mom said, well, they have a lot of music there, so why don't we see how to audition? And so she looked up on the website, and it was really easy to tell you how to apply. And then we just sent in our information in a CD, and we got heard back from them that they wanted us. What's it like performing at the Maryland Renaissance Festival? Where do you perform within the venue? Uh, we perform all over the venue. We're called Pathway Performers, and so they have us all over the festival in different sort of the field areas or on the paths specifically. And it's a lot of fun. It's unlike anything I've done before because you're really immersed with your audience versus on stage where there's a bit of a separation between you and the audience. Where else do you perform and who do you perform with in your band? Um, I perform at music festivals, intimate concert venues, and coffee houses. Um, my band consists of my parents and I, so my dad plays uh, guitar and Irish bazooki and balron, and my mom plays hammered dulcimer and Irish whistle. How do you write your own original songs? Do you write the music or lyrics first? Um, some, a lot of times lyrics come first for me. Occasionally I'll get like a little hook in my head and I'll build that, the melody off of that, but typically it's I'm looking to write about life in general. That's what most folk artists want to write about. And so I pick an idea or an emotion and go off of that. Why do you perform? I love performing. I love every aspect of it, from sitting down and looking for places to book, to writing music, to actually getting up on the stage and just interacting with people who love music as well. What do you want audiences to walk away with after one of your performances? Um, I want them to walk away with the feeling of having fun, a feeling of traveling through different life and emotion through the songs, and I want them to see the harp in a different view than what usually people's stereotypical idea of a harp is. What is their view of a harp, do you think? A lot of times when I talk to people, I see this sort of, when I say I play harp, they think of orchestra and a big instrument where I'm in a long gown playing it, and while that's really pretty and I always have admired harpists who do that, I want to show that the harp can actually be a modern instrument and it's really no different than a guitar or a piano. Well, I feel the best way to get to know you is by listening to your music. So let's hear you perform some of your songs. Okay. So the first piece we're going to do is a song called One Chance and the idea came from the fact that a lot of people want to take risks and chances in their life but they might be too afraid to. And so a lot of it, even with arts and music, is there's risk when you go into it as a career. So I wanted to write a song about taking chances in life, and in the end, it might just be worth it. One chance, why don't you take it? One chance, show you all. One chance, to make or break it. One chance, to become a star. Don't be afraid, believe in yourself. It's a choice.
next song is one called Let's Dance, and it's just a fun song I wrote because I love to dance, so all it has to do with finding that special someone on the dance floor and just dancing away the night together. harp song is called Ready for Love and it's one of the first songs I ever wrote and the inspiration came from a lot of the girls I knew were getting engaged and at that time I didn't have any prospective fiancés so I wrote a song about just being ready for love and wanting to be in love. <laughs> This next piece is called Reach for the Sky, and uh, inspiration came from a little boy I saw on the 4th of July, and he was sitting on his father's shoulders, and every time a firework went off, he would reach up and try to grab it right out of the sky. And it just reminded me of how many times in our lives that we seem to try to reach for dreams and goals that seem just slightly out of our reach. Watching each firework high in the sky Each one bursting with color and life Before he could grab one it faded away But he would try to be Stretching his arm out as far as he could Longing to feel his heart's simple wish Finally catch one and hold in his hand So he would try to read Sky, reach for. 